Let's take a look at finding quartiles on a HP Prime graphing calculator for a set of data. Now I'm going to uh, go back to my application library. So if yours isn't already there, then press your apps button. And we want to move our cursor down so the statistics one bar is highlighted. So um, in my case, I'll go ahead and down, down arrow there and then press enter. And now if you have numbers already here, and I know these these are the same numbers, so I already have them input, but I'm going to pretend they aren't, and I'll delete them. How you delete the numbers that are already there is you can press this delete key over and over. Probably the easiest way. There's probably a real easy way to clear out the entire list, but I'm not an expert on HP Prime. Now, to input numbers, what you do is you type in each number, pressing enter after each one. So I do 13 enter, 19, 23, 31, 45, 46, 47, 51, and 53. Okay, after you get those in, then you want to press your stats button. You want to choose column, and I think this is a touch screen. Um, I don't actually got the calculator, I just got the emulator. But click the column, and we want to choose one, because uh, we have one column data. Um, so I press 1, or you can click this. Okay, now our quartiles. First quartile is right here. So Q1 is 21. Now our second quartile is the same as our median. So Q2 is equal to 45. And then our third quartile is um, uh, right here, so it's 49. So those are our three quartiles. Now you click OK here, press your apps button to get out of that. In this video, we took a look at how to find the quartiles of a set of data on HP Prime Graphing Calculator.